So another pretty bad news item for NVIDIA and GPU buyers. If it seems like bad news comes out all the time, it's because it's really not all that great. Go check out your local store online or in person. You're not going to find a 4090 even if you have the money to buy it. And if you do want an RTX 3000, they're still priced a little bit too high. Most people don't want them. There's one major news item that's coming out now that's going to make things even worse, especially if you want a new GPU. This is specifically concerning NVIDIA, and you have to know a little bit of the backstory. Recently, there's been a ban on the H100 GPUs for the Chinese market. That's basically artificial intelligence. They have until September of 2023, so a little bit under a year, to fulfill all of those current orders. Why does this matter to you? That's an artificial intelligence GPU, nothing to do with gaming, of course. This is going to matter to you because NVIDIA is going to prioritize those GPUs for that market instead of things like RTX 4090s and presumably the 4080 16 gigabyte that's coming out. If NVIDIA is primarily a gamer company, why would they do this? Well, first, they're not really primarily a gamer company anymore. They push their AI and machine learning to a pretty you know, significant extent. The big reason is that it's just much more profitable. They can make a lot more money with these type of enterprise setups, especially when it goes overseas, then they're going to make selling GPUs and having to be competitive with other companies. They're certainly pretty dominant in that field as well, much like they are in the gamer GPU sector, but certainly the big difference is they're just going to make a lot more money and typically it might be a little bit less hassle if they're dealing with commercial customers or very large orders for these type of machine learning applications. So the US decided to ban these GPUs from going to China because they're simply maybe too powerful, could be used for whatever motives, and the price for these GPUs seem to have skyrocketed, much like you would see on the secondhand scalper market, the GPUs going up here, for example, like a 4090 that you can't find, and the price is now almost double or at least significantly over MSRP. The same thing is going to happen with those GPUs, but of course that's not going to concern gamers. What it will concern is that NVIDIA wants to shift as much of its production as as possible to those more lucrative GPUs. They're basically trying to fit as many in as before that ban takes effect and they're no longer to able to service that market. It's going to be a pretty significant portion of their revenue. We're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars at stake. So that's why they're really making that a top priority. Now, this is going to be good for Nvidia because they're going to make as much money as possible on that end and it's going to accomplish a different goal, which is not really good for gamers but it's good for NVIDIA. There still remains a huge issue at hand. There may not be any 4090s in stock, and we thought that NVIDIA would start to trickle them out more and more, but as we're seeing, there really isn't. It's been two, about two weeks since that GPU came out. If you look anywhere now, you're not really going to see them in stock. The situation is really not what we thought it was going to be like. We thought NVIDIA would have a lot at launch, and they did have a decent amount of GPUs. For example, when it launched at the local stores like my Micro Center. Most stores seem to have enough for everybody online. That's a significant number, maybe 150 GPUs in many of the busy stores. The store that I went to had around 150 GPUs. I'd consider that a, a pretty you know, big launch for a 4090, which is expensive. What I wouldn't consider a good launch is when the stores used to have 10 to 15 GPUs for like 80 people. That's not a good launch. That's what happened often with the 3080 or the 3090. That was really frustrating, but 4090 was a a little bit better day on it must be said around 150 gpus on the first day pretty much satisfied anybody who wanted to buy it during that first day and even going on to the next day or so but if you look now anytime the store has gotten a restocking i know they've gotten maybe a few five to six on one day five to six on the other day there usually will be people lined up already in the morning much like happened during the the last gpu shortage and those gpus get quickly bought up regardless of their very expensive price, which doesn't seem to be making a difference in the market at all. So if we look around now, they're definitely pretty barren. You can't find them online. They're not on Newegg. They're not on Best Buy. They have these random drops, like Best Buy had a drop, but it's kind of difficult to get one if you miss it. If you are there for the drop, you may have a good chance, but often people miss it by a few minutes and it's pretty much game over. So if you put that together with the fact that NVIDIA is prioritizing these H100 artificial intelligence GPUs, use. <laughs> 
It makes complete sense. Not good for gamers, but it does something else. There are a lot of RTX 3000 GPUs. You can go to any store or even online. You're going to see them in stock. And I thought the prices are still way too high for something that's not selling. Even my local Micro Center, which has some pretty good prices, 3070s are too expensive. 3060s are too expensive. Even the 3080s, 3090s, they're still way too expensive. Even though they definitely came down in price, they're not at an attractive enough price to really recommend to people to buy. But with the lack of 4090s, it's starting to push some of these prices up a little bit because there's a lack on the high end. If somebody wants a high end GPU, 4090 is not available. So they may look to a 3090 or 3090 Ti. Those were coming down in price. But if there's no 4090 to push that price down, they're going to steadily go up a little bit, especially the models that haven't been in stock all too often. So this is playing in NVIDIA's flavor because they really wanted to get rid of excess RTX. RTX 3000 stock, not having that many RTX 4000, pretty good news for them. Even though they sold every single one that they really let out into the wild, now they can focus on RTX 3000 while they also focus on the more lucrative machine learning environment with, you know, the commercial GPUs. And then of course their investors are happy because they see a successful 4090 launch. I mean, it's sold out everywhere, right? So you saw the massive amount of lines. There were pretty good numbers, at least for the first day. So you can make a pretty good story on their end how it was a very successful launch looks good for them regardless of how many they actually sell and they can focus on sort of these other lucrative environments now is this really going to play out long term like this we're approaching the holiday season and of course the release of the rtx 4080 16 gigabytes i think it's going to be a similar story there at that lower price point of 1200 dollars that gpu probably is going to sell just as fast as the 4090 and if you don't get it the first Day. I recommend if you want it, just get it the first day because it's going to be almost impossible to get it going forward. If they're not prioritizing the more lucrative 4090, you can imagine the 4080 16 gigabyte. It's not going to be probably available in the same numbers as you would really want to to satisfy demand, especially considering they've already canceled the 12 gigabyte version, showing that they're willing to play various games in order to keep the market really primed for whatever goal that they have in mind. So while that 4080 16 gigabyte may have a little bit more of new GPUs come into the market. I don't think it's going to be enough to really let go of the pressure that the 4090 currently has and may not really make a difference on RTX 3000. I think the people that will buy a cheaper GPU still will buy RTX 3000 and increasingly as Nvidia needs to get rid of that inventory, it's going to be harder to find the new stuff and you're going to be left having to buy like a 3080 or a 3080 Ti. I've seen examples of many people who have done so and they feel like they got a pretty good deal. I mean, prices are half or even a third of what they used to be during the, you know, the high points of the GPU craze. As far as most casual buyers of PC gaming hardware, if they're not really, really deeply into it and want to get the best value possible, they're going to be pretty happy with their purchase. If they get a 3080 Ti for like $700 or under, they're going to think that's great. And is it? Probably, it's not really that bad of a price. It's not a bad GPU. It's still going to perform well for a long time. And I've seen people buy 3080 Ti's for over $2,000 when the price was high. So 700 something seems fair to me. It's still a good GPU. And it's not like you can get anything else for near that price. 4090's are double the price. Our DNA 3 isn't out. Intel Arc GPUs were a little bit disappointing. So it really remains to be seen what's going to happen. RDNA 3 from AMD, I know a lot of people are waiting for that. Is that going to make an impact? Is that going to change the market now that NVIDIA is focusing on these A100 machine learning GPUs? Does it give some space for AMD to really come in and take some market share? If they were playing a smart game, they should really try to price these aggressively and make sure they have enough inventory to really take a lot of market share and mind share from NVIDIA. This is going to be their best time to do it. If they come in with a potent RDNA 3 GPU, something like a 7900 XT, which has been rumored to have 20 gigabytes of VRAM, maybe going to perform much, much better than anything we're expecting. If that is much better than any RTX 3000 GPU that you can get, and it's available, like the 4090 isn't, and it comes in maybe around a thousand or less, they may certainly be able to capture a lot of market share from NVIDIA. There's a chance the highest end, maybe 7900 XT, comes in 
in at around $1,200, and that's going to compete with something like the 4080 16 gigabytes. If it's available in large enough numbers, it can certainly take a lot of market share. There may even be a, a model above the 7900 XT, like a 7950 XT, that could be closer in performance to a 4090, but gamers are really looking for something at 1200 or under, 1000 or under, and preferably 800 or under that's going to perform well and be a next generation GPU. If AMD could certainly deliver something like that with next generation performance, they could outcompete any RTX 3000 on the market, especially at a good price. People are going to prefer the newer GPU and they're going to be priced too well for the RTX 4000, even though the 4090 has impressive numbers. Ray tracing is amazing. Performance has really, really jumped ahead of the competition more than people thought, but it's difficult availability and it's high price do keep a lot of gamers away. So are the NA3 is going to be interesting. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below if you think it's going to make a splash. We're hoping it is. I mean, we need more competition in the GPU market so NVIDIA can't play these games back and forth with gamers and prioritize other markets that are not gaming. Let me know what you think. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.